Hello friends, welcome to EduSure. We'll look at uh, details of a typical public key infrastructure enabled transaction. So uh, the basic details are this is the sender's computer, this is the receiver's computer, sender is Samir, receiver is Purvi and uh, a confidential message needs to go from Samir's computer to Purvi's computer. We also assume that Samir and Purvi both of them are in different geographical locations and this message would travel over untrusted public uh, lines which may be an internet and uh, we also assume that Samir and Purvi both of them have got a valid digital signature certificate obtained from authorized certifying authorities what does it mean that both of them have a different key pair that is specific unique key pair for for uh, themselves so Samir's key pair consists of a public key and a private key similarly Purvi's uh, key pair consists of a public key and a private key and these key pairs obviously are obtained from certifying authority during the process of getting the digital digital signature certificate so now uh, quickly uh, look at the process so this is the message which needs to uh, go from Samir's computer to Purvi's computer and now we understand that what is an algorithm it's a mathematical model for encryption so the the method used for encryption is an algorithm hashing is uh, again uh, uh, is, is, a, is a algorithm by which a unique value is calculated based on content of a message that is hashing and hashing algorithms are uh, SHA, SHA1 and like that so the first thing uh, done on the message is uh, a message digest is created by doing by doing hashing process on the message so uh, hashing algorithm is applied on this message and this is the message dig digest which is a unique value based on content of uh, this particular message a key is a random string of bits and a key could be of three types it could be a private key or a public key uh, which comes as part of the key pair from a certifying authority or key one could be a symmetric key uh, so the next process is uh, applying uh, senders private key on the message digest so uh, the resultant uh, thing is a digital signature which is nothing but encrypted I, I shouldn't say encrypted but uh, message digest on which uh, senders private key is applied so that is a digital signature and the next uh, steps are again the same clear text message is taken and this digital signature which is uh, a message digest on which senders private key is applied so that is digital signature plus senders uh, certificate digital signature certificate which would have senders public key as well so for convenience of receiver uh, this certificate is also processed let's see what process is done on this three uh, a symmetric key is generated for this transaction only so this is the symmetric key generated only for this particular transaction of exchange of message and why is so because uh, as we know symmetric key algorithms symmetric uh, encryption algorithms rather are faster and uh, uh, they are more efficient compared to asymmetric key algorithms so option could have been to uh, use uh, appropriate keys from the key pair given by certifying authority but uh, to take advantage of efficiency in symmetric key algorithms this key is used for this larger larger chunk of message so uh, this key is applied and uh, message is encrypted this is the encrypted message and uh, also receivers uh, certificate is obtained from receiver certifying authority and this uh, symmetric key is encrypted using receivers 
that is Puru is public key. Public key is available everywhere for everyone from public domain. So that's where uh, Purvi certificate is obtained and public key of Purvi is obtained. Uh, symmetric key is encrypted using uh, Purvi's public key. So what is obtained is a digital envelope and uh, the message goes uh, like this. Uh, it has got encrypted message which contains three things as we understand. It has got some years uh, certificate. It has got digital signature which is nothing but encrypted hash and it has got a clear text message so these are the three things in encrypted message and digital envelope as we understand nothing but uh, encrypted symmetric key this is encrypted using receivers public key so these are the contents of the message uh, and uh, this goes on the other side over untrusted communication lines maybe over internet or whatever and uh, obviously the receiver obtains digital envelope and encrypted message and the uh, decryption process starts by uh, Purvi by applying uh, her private key on digital envelope so reversing this process basically here so uh, as this digital envelope was encrypted using Purvi's public key, it could be decrypted only by using Purvi's private key. So that is what is done here. What is obtained is a symmetric key. This symmetric key was used for encrypting this three stuff. So this symmetric key now could be used on this encrypted message and what will be got back is this same three th stuff which is clear text message and uh, digital signature which is nothing but encrypted hash and summary certificate these are the three things obtained back and uh, the next process is to work on this digital signature this digital signature is nothing but uh, encrypted hash using summary's private key so if one needs to get back this message digest from this digital signature one needs to apply Samir's public key because it is in was because this was originally encrypted using Samir's private key so uh, the decryption is applied using Samir's public key and this is the message digest so the same message digest is obtained here the last step is using the same hashing algorithm which was used here for obtaining this message digest uh, again message digest is recalculated at receivers and provis and this message digest is recalculated and both of them the message digest which was received uh, over an email and the recalculated message digest both of them are compared that is the end of public key uh, enable transaction and all these steps within that so as we understand in any PKI enabled transaction four cornerstones are to be achieved what are those cornerstones first is authentication so that is if Samir and Purvi as we assume that they got that digital signature certificates from authorized certifying authorities that would mean that they would have uh, given appropriate amount of uh, supportings and evidences and they would have identified themselves to the certifying authority so authentication that is the first cornerstone is achieved second cornerstone that is confidentiality so the message was encrypted here using the symmetric key and uh, uh, this message passed over untrusted lines and it was decrypted using the same symmetric key here so confidentiality is also achieved so the second cornerstone confidentiality is achieved by this encryption third cornerstone is integrity so this message digest went from this side to this side here this part and uh, it got recalculated if both of them matched it would prove that this message did not change while it was in transit or over untrusted communication lines so that is integrity third cornerstone 
and the fourth cornerstone is non repudiation how that is achieved that is achieved by this process wherein sender applied uh, his private key on the message digest and this message digest could be obtained by applying senders public key so uh, if this could be obtained and that would suggest that this process which is uh, applying senders private key on message digest could have been done by Samir and only Samir because only Samir uh, would have possession of his private key and no one else so this is the fourth cornerstone of a PKI unable transactions so uh, let me repeat we uh, achieved uh, authentication confidentiality integrity and non repudiation uh, in this process thank you very much and all the best for all your future examinations thank you